This tutorial is looking at arcs, um, specifically uh, how to draw them, and there's a couple other little bits bits of information embedded in here. Um, let's walk through the code and I'll sort of highlight those. So, in size, familiar, size of the canvas, color mode, RGB, we've got a background color of black, we set our fir first stroke to red, Set a stroke weight of 25 pixels, stroke cap square. We've talked about that previously in the line. Um, no fill. And then we have the arc. And so we have a we have a one, two, three, four, five, six parameters. So you call the arc function. And then the first two parameters, width divided by two, height divided by two, this is sort of new for us, um, is essentially the, um, the the width of the canvas divided by two and the height of the canvas divided by two. So the, these are relative numbers. They're relative to the size of the canvas. So that means that this is 250 by 250. And this is the origin of the arc. So if you imagine a compass and you're drawing with a compass, you set the point at the origin and then you draw the arc from there. So then we have the width of the arc, which is 400, and we have the height of the arc. So these numbers are symmetrical. Um, let's just take a quick look at that. So this first arc is red and it's 400 by 400 center so we should be able to pick it out okay so that's this arc right here so the center's here and then it's 400 wide 400 tall so you can see how that how the centering by dividing the width by two and the height by two works you and just to demonstrate that further, if we make this 750 comma 750, and then play it again, it's bigger, still centered. Since these are explicit numbers, this is 400 by 400, it didn't get bigger. Okay, and then the last piece is the origin of the arc. Where does the arc start? And where does it end? And we're using a sort of mathematical reference. Um, it's shorthand basically for 90 degrees of rotation. So pi and half pi and two pi and quarter pi. These are all sort of subdivisions of this type of math. So it starts at zero and goes to half pi. So again, if we look at it, if we look at it, you can see it starts at zero and goes, sorry, starts at zero and then rotates to half pi. So half pi is 90 degrees, pi is 180 degrees, and two pi is 360 degrees. Um, so we've demonstrated all, so you get the idea, we've demonstrated them all of them down here. Then you can see we have this second set here, which I've commented out, so I'm going to uncomment them. And what we've got here is instead of using half pi and pi, which are, they're not intuitive. Um, we've got something called radians, which is much more intuitive. It's basically 360 degrees. So you basically force the data type from pi and half pi, which is what it's expecting, to radians. So you're declaring the data type radians, and then inside you're saying zero. So zero degrees radians, 90. So that's a 90 degree rotation. And this is 200 by 200. And this is radians 90. It goes to 180, radians 180, 270. So let's take a look at those. So that's all these. That's these four inside. So radians 0 to 90, radians 90 to 180, radians 180 to 270, radians 270 to 360. Okay? So those are the two. So the, the two big things are, you know, how do you draw an arc? 
So it goes from, it rotates counterclockwise from origin to um, terminus. It, and you can use either pi, quarter pi, or you can use radians where you force the data type by doing that.